My name is Tom Waddleton. I'm on the Indiana CPA Society Board of Directors and I led the task force that was focused on innovation. So for the task force, the definition that we came up with was any process that uses creative invention to respond to a real challenge. And there were two parts of that definition that we really thought were important. Um, one was the real challenge part, that you're solving something that you think is significant and impacting you. And so it's not just applying innovation for innovation's sake. And then the other piece was using creative invention. So when you look at pro as you look at a specific challenge, not just doing things the old way, but can you implement new practices to be more creative in a thoughtful way and say, how would I do this differently since it's a big enough challenge to do that? CPAs see innovation as being, being very important. In general, they're not sure how to be more innovative and they want help. For the Indiana CPA Society, I think it's important for a couple different reasons. One, the members expect that the CPA Society will help them become more innovative um, as their professional home. And I think the other is the landscape of when members of the CPA Society are changing. So the Indian CPA Society itself has to be more innovative and look at maybe a different business model, maybe different services that we provide to members. Um, I think if we went out 20 years and said we'll continue operating the exact same way we are today, we'd probably find that we're not serving members' needs. So I think even for our own society, we have to look at doing things very differently than what we do today. So I think it's important as we talk about innovation to recognize that there are examples of innovation already, and I can think of some within the Indiana CPA Society. So one that I would think of is a scholars program, which has gone on for several years, but as we look at wanting to bring more diverse talent and just attract people into the profession, building a program that targets people during high school and exposes them to the profession and gives them a good experience doing that and we're seeing the results of that. So to me that's an innovative program that is continuing. I also think of the CPA Center of Excellence that started with work around knowledge management. Now we have a platform that helps members collaborate. We've really been pushing competency-based education and are the only state society that has really made the moves to make that happen. Again, moving our forward, ourselves forward in an innovative kind of space. And then another example would be the member networks that we have had. Um, so a way for members to collaborate, but one of the real challenges that we had when it was public companies was people having the fear of collaborating with your direct competitors. So they've been able to solve that problem by finding people who wanted to collaborate, but finding them people who were not in competition with each other. And that has grown, and I've heard members talk about the real value that they get in that kind of program.